Hello everybody, I'm Barry Lynn, the Cheese Impresario. We're here at Cheese Rules with a very special show. We're doing an all green show. The cheese will be organic and the wine will be organic. And we also have a special guest today, my great friend and fellow cheese lover, Sean Phillips, NFL star for the San Diego Chargers. Hey, welcome. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. I had to pull you away from the cheese even to get you on the set here. What's going on? You know how I love cheese. So I do. All. So today we're enjoying the Fry family's Pinot Noir. I think you've had this on my rooftop with me before. Yeah, I snuck a couple glasses. You did, you did. This is their 2009. It's glorious. And um, shall we take a little sip together? Cheers. Now use your schnoz first, you know. Oh. Take a little sip. And um, this, this wine is really interesting because, you know, in the stores you can see grown with organic, organic grapes. Mm -hmm. That's not all the way. That's not 100% certified organic. So that's what I look for. If I'm really going to go for an organic wine, I want the whole deal. Yes. And so they not only grow the grapes with all organic methods, but they make them. They make the wine with all organic methods. Uh -huh. They don't um, filter it with anything weird. They use normal clay, organic clay, and the fries use no sulfites. The only sulfites that exist, if any, are the natural ones that come from the environment. So you're telling me this is what the doctor recommends? Totally. <laughs> this will keep day. you healthy for the season. <laughs> Definitely. One glass a day. You had a little bit of this cheese before, but you've never had it before with mm, me. No. This is a special cheese. It is organic. It's also, you know, there's so many green attributes to this cheese. This is um, Uplands Cheese Company, Pleasant Ridge Reserve. Um, Mike Gingrich is a Wisconsin cheesemaker. He only makes this beautiful Pleasant Ridge Reserve when the cows are on fresh grasses and herbs and clovers. Mm -hmm. He rotationally graze them so they always have fresh food and they're always happy I've met these cows actually. <laughs> and then this cheese is a very alpine cheese. You can see, you know, it's kind of hard, yeah. right? But, and the, uh, it's buttery and nutty smelling. It won best cheese at the American Cheese Society conference, which I hope we get to go to together. We'll be there. Yeah, we're gonna rock <laughs> out, you won't believe it. And the cheese won best cheese 2001 and then when I was there in 2005 mm -hmm. twice best of show it's expensive but you'll notice we don't need a lot for great flavor it's free so for us. Um, shall we uh, make a little cheese highway on our tongue always and then uh, maybe take a sip of the wine cheers cheers oh, that's incredible I, the strawberry doesn't the strawberry come out in the wine? It brings it out a lot. That's what I noticed about it right away. And the, this cheese works really well with fruit, with cherries, with strawberries, with all those kind of um, stone fruits because it um, holds fruit really well. And then the nuttiness and the creaminess and the complexity. Sean, we've learned a lot today. A beautiful organic cheese paired with a beautiful organic wine. You got me organic wine and organic cheese. It's another reason why cheese rules.